Welcome to Factorio, Base in a Book. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 12 of our Let's Play. Thank you very much everyone who is uh, s watching, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. It's super awesome, but particularly a big thank you to all the patrons who are supporting the work I do here. This uh, blueprint here, and it's I really want to make this available. Unfortunately, because it basically contains everything from each episode, it gets just too big. And um, I'm just, I just need to find a way to, to, to share this because I can't put it on pastebin. And yeah, so, so I need to put, make a, a website when I have it, I'll link it in a pinned comment and just also add it to the description. I just need to figure it out. I know that it's kind of annoying that you only have the last one, but then again, I force you to keep up with the series. Ha! Anyway, uh, I wanted to just go through the effort I put into this blueprint so that you understand it. So basically, I'm laying it out here in the city blocks the, so that it fits with what the base looks like. So you can kind of more easily figure out where it is every time, for example, for number 11, then I mark it as updated. If I've added some, if I've made changes to it, update it, update it, update it, for example, or, or if I've made something new, I did not make any new city block patterns last time. So that one, there's nothing new, but either either way, every episode, if you want to just get the, the blueprints that I updated for the specific episode, then check out which ones have updated, and then you will know which ones uh, are available. So we uh, left off here. We issued a lot of command here, and uh, we have a bit of we had a bit of issues with power. That is absolutely no surprise for anyone who is uh, familiar with how I play this game. Let's uh, go this one. Uh, Generic blueprints. Generic blueprints should also include that one and then that one. Yes, so now I can actually build it because we built the... Oh, why did I build it that far out? I don't know. Then I'm going to issue a little command here. All the way over. So we get rid of all of this part. And we are going to get back to this. Boom. There. I'm going to build it all the way up here. We're still getting attacked at this location. We still have enough ammo just to keep it safe so that we now have this one being in progress. We are going to do a lot of uh, of robot abuse in this episode. Well, in all episodes, basically. I want this one to be built. It's one of the important things that we want to build. While the power is expanding, I did get some questions about why have I not started making nuclear yet. And the reason is that I really preferred going into solar before going into nuclear. It's just one of those things I, I like to do. And maybe I was, a, in this case, I was a bit too slow on getting into solar because I've had so many radars and I kind of underestimated how much power the radars would take. But one of the big things is actually getting into nuclear. Not that we're going to get start into nuclear, but about an episode or two before we actually get into nuclear, I want to make sure that we can actually build it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hub and I'm going to find the one that says 3-3. Three, three. Hub 3, number 1. Hub 3, number 3. That's the one. It is using blue belts, which I don't have, but we can still do a lot of things here. Oh yeah, look at my cute little uh, robot doing work here. Nice. And all of this can be done. All of it is in my blueprint. It is with uh, blue belts, but it really shouldn't be with blue belts. In this case, up oh, there, there, there. And this one will obviously be part of the blueprint as well. Uh, what I would like to do is make them some small changes to this. This is designed towards a four nuclear power plant and I'm going to make an eight because that fits with the city blocks. So I'm going to do that. Um, a lot of people also ask, why am I not using electric furnaces? Electric furnaces are not good. They take too much space and they take a lot more power than uh, the, the electric furnace and they're not faster. So the only time I change to electric furnace is either if I'm short on, on fuel in a specific map or if, um, or when I need to put in modules. So if I need to put in modules, I definitely obviously have to switch to electric, but that means I'm going to be using the steel furnaces and stone furnaces for quite a while. This one needs to go to 84. This one needs to go to, I don't exactly know. I think of like maybe 160 or something. I'll just double this one as well. Basically, I am preparing this for a larger nuclear power plant than the one we had built previously. 
all this is working, all this is working, that is good. And we also have over here, a tank can now be built at this location. And my robots are very, very diligent on moving out here. The reason why the, my robots are working and not the house robots is because someone has issued too many commands for the house robots. I wonder who that might be. We are going to start working or not start, but continue working on science because I'd really like to get the utility science. That might be one of the good things we could work on today while we let the robots do a lot of the heavy lifting uh, in the base. This is one of the most the best things about Factorio is that you can do things simultaneously. So I issue commands up here and then I don't really have to deal with it because the robots will take care of it and I can work on something else. So what is that something else I want to work on? Actually, I want to switch the, the sequence of this. And let me see, where is the mining productivity? There's a new icon, I can't find it. What is that thing? Coal liquefaction, that's a weird icon. Interesting. And let's get these as well. That one maybe as well, I don't know what else. Maybe some laser turrets would be nice to have eventually. And aside from that, I think we're good. There, we'll just uh, click some random things so we get that operational. Let's have a look at how much red belt we have at this moment. We do have a bit, yes. Uh, three point that's 5.2, yeah, 5.3 red belts. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. I'm not going to switch to red belts yet, but I am going to make sure that we get a bit more uh, inbound. So we are going to need that for some of our designs. Let's move up and start working on the yellow, yellow signs, because yellow signs is just, the reason why I want yellow signs to be perfectly honest is primarily because of this one, but this is the one. This is the real one. It portable fusion reactor. They really need something that's better than the, than the solar panels because solar panels in a personal robot port is just, it's just not good, just not good. So um, we really need to get that unlocked as soon as possible. We are going to start taking this one out. That's always a good idea. Then we can into my blueprint and oh wow, it's already there. Nice. And I should make sure that it does. It goes maybe like that would be okay. I think that's a good place to build it. Should be pretty easy to add some rubber ports to it. And I'm also gonna make a rubber port on the other side there so that I get fully covered on this part with regards to rubber ports. There. Can I build those? Yes, please. So I can make sure that the robot, I am covered with robots. And all of this you can see is working with red belts. I don't want this to be red belts actually. And I also need, this is the one for my masterclass. Remember my masterclass is made long ago. So things might have changed and that's actually something we're gonna be cleaning it up in this episode. I might do a retuning on my blueprints for the masterclass because some of them I have some, I wanna say glaring errors, but definitely some things that uh, every time I build it, I have to fix it. So that one should be good. And all of the build here, whenever possible, should be yellow. And I know that that one. Okay, and some new thing that I have found out we can do. Wow, these robots are just slow. All of this has to be yellow and I know I can build it in a different way. Okay, so this will also allow us to build much, much better production of robots, which also means that I can take this one, this little robot robot build out. Uh, I am also gonna do it in a slightly different way than what I've highlighted. In this case, I've highlighted coming in as separate lines. I actually prefer it to come in as combined lines from the bus and combine them out there on the bus area. So that's what we are going to do. That's why I'm gonna take all this out. And then there is one more interesting thing. That is, these are producing the robot frames. What if I could build, no, that's gonna have to be a red one then. Okay, let me just build all the stuff that doesn't need to be red, but currently is red. Uh, let me see that one. Does this need to be red? No. That one does, because it's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. Ah, well, then let's be consistent at least. This one does not need to be red, and this one does not need to be red. And the 
throughput is also so low that it, there's really no point in trying to force it in here. Good. Now we've done everything in yellow that needs to be yellow. That is good. Right. So one of the things that we want as well is making sure that this build is also adding some robots outbound. There. So this will both put it directly in here for the yellow signs, but also put it out here on the belt. And if you watch my masterclass on inserters, you will know that when there are two outputs, they will actually be very kind and alternate. So this means that I'll have in the beginning or when I make robots, I'll only have half throughput for yellow signs. But on the other hand, when I don't need to make robots, it's all good. Now, one more thing that I'd like to do if you know robots, well, you, of course, you know robots. Robots are built with flying robot frames and red circuits or green circuits. That means I actually could get some, if I did some red circuits here, I think I could just get red circuits in on this one. I don't know why I have that one. I could get red circuits in on the top side. So this belt here will be red on the top side. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> and it's just so small amount. Seriously, yeah, I, I kind of knew there was this was going to happen. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. All right, I'm just going to whoosh down there and then we'll uh, take care of it. Ah, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to just let it burn through this a bit. Uh we need to now that we have a tank, then I'm going to grab a tank as well and just roll down there. Uh let's get a few of these. Boop. And let's also get some fuel because running a tank without fuel is kind of not fun here. And I'm going to go to this location and pick up one tank. Ah, where's my, where's my tank? Where's my tank? There we go. I need, okay, more. Luckily, we have that. Okay, I'm just going to get a tank and then uh, I'll rush down there as fast as I can. I know they're being munching on my... Thing. I know, I know, no. Do I have... Yeah, I do have this. So, but that is over here. I also think I want to train... Oh, yeah, you want everything, right? You want just everything before going down there. There we go. That's the fastest way to get down there, I think. Let's run, 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 run. Shut up. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There. There. All right, let's get down there. I think that I'll do this. Um, yeah, we'll do this together because it's... It, it's it's something that I have to do. Come on, go faster, go faster. Ah, how much we got? We got a lot of things killed. But this is just my own stupidity. This is be because I'm lazy with the with the uh, defenses, and then this happens. So I'm fine. I'm fine. The oh look at that! Just burning through our science. That's very nice. Uh, we'll go here. Actually, I think I'll just it's manual. Wow, it takes forever to break. Got it. And did we get the tank? Yes, we did. And I'm sure that the tank will deal more damage than anything else. Let's switch over to the ammo. Where are they? Oh, no. I got down here and by the time I got down here, they they're taking care of it themselves. Oh, that's so typical. But, you know, hey, look at my robots doing stuff. Being useful and all. Yeah, let's build a few of these. Boom, 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 boom. Ah! Right, so that's 25 in each. I'm just going to try this. I'm not sure I can do it, but we're going to give it a little shot here. That what I mean is this is a big area and we are not we don't have the good ammo for the for this part. I am going to disable my personal robot port because I don't want them flying out and get killed here. So I don't know if I can actually do this. We'll give it a shot. Out to save, out to save. Yeah, it's going to be really slow. Just not dealing enough damage here. 
Eh, maybe this is not a great idea. Am I even shooting this? There we go. Okay. Repair. And let's get some more damage here. That one and that one. And what else do we need? Right now we're at a point where there's not really anything super important to to do here. Well, we made a slight uh, influx. That's just really not what I wanted to do. So let me just do one more pass on it and then we'll uh, jump back to the base. There we go. Just, uh, just taking the tank out first spin is always nice. And the idea here is try to kill the spawners because if you kill the spawners they're gonna stop sending crap at you and also kill worms are nice because they're kind of dangerous and then you have to deal with a bit of the spam yeah it's quite clear that I just don't deal enough damage here yeah we don't, just don't deal enough damage Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to finish up uh, this little thing. It's going to take a bit of time and then we'll be back to the base. And we're back here in the main base. It took a few spins more down here just to get it out of, out of the way. We are now not triggering anything in pollution range, which is good. Not at that location, but at other locations. Let's make sure that we build the robots because it's actually more important for us to build the robots right now. And I want to do it like this. So these two are going to make robots. This will make the logistics robots because they need reds. And I'm going to have reds coming in on this belt and also go here. That will be the construction ones and I will have on one of these belts this belt actually I will have greens greens and steel I think so if I just do this one then I can actually get everything that I ever dreamed of into one location and I will just get these conditions this will instead of read the logistics content it'll read the robots and I'm gonna do something that make it just easier for me I'm going to do that. Total logistics bots is going to have that icon and total construction bots will have that icon. So much easier. So now I'll just say whenever the logistics bots is less than 500, I don't need a lot. Whenever uh, construction bots is less than 5,000, I don't need a lot. I'm not a demanding person by, by any means. I just want 5,000 robots to, uh, to make me happy. Let's see, where is it? here and that actually means that if i want to combine it with this i could i don't know if i should but uh, it will if i do that it will require something else let me just see yeah i think this one is honestly more appropriate to use with to combine with the uh, what's it called Ah. Yeah, I'm going to do this uh, with the other thing because here I'm going to get the purple signs. So I'm going to get the purple signs in on this belt. And that means the yellow belt will go or the yellow signs will go out here. Maybe I should fix the inbound yellow signs first. And we come up to this location and then we have a bit of conundrum about how to actually get it inbound. And it's not going to be so difficult it's it's at best gonna be a bit weird oh sorry the other way uh, this one goes here and then just gets two of these which means now I can grab from that location it's it is a bit odd but hey it works from here to here oh you know what it doesn't work if I don't put these two as well 
that one. And the rest of it way down here. That means I can now get eight different science packs. Well, seven in from one side. That's pretty good. All right, what about, what about our robots? Are they all busy? No, they're not all busy. That's great to see. So what I can do is just take this part and just go up, because why not? And then um, we'll just have a few places that don't uh, that are not ready. So this can't really build that yet. This will actually be more about building. And this one will be reds, but only on one side. That's gonna be really complicated. And yeah, so there's a lot of things we don't have. We don't have the low density structures. We don't have the blue circuits yet. And I don't want to make blue circuits until we have everything here running on red belts, which is something I'd like to do. But uh, I really feel that it's more important for me to build the perimeter defense up here first so that it's at least flowing. How far is it from actually flowing anywhere? Yeah, there's still some some gaps here and there. Why, are, why is this yellow ammo? Shouldn't this be red ammo? Oh, there's the red ammo. Okay, so it's gonna fill up with yellow ammo and then top it up with red. So you, as you can see here, as soon as this one gets done, then the next one flows and you know, and onwards and onwards and onwards. That's, it's just, it's just gonna take a bit of time, but we're, we're, we're pretty good up there. Pretty good, actually. We're missing some, missing some things. That means we can start big making this one. This one. <clears throat> steel is coming in on this belt. So steel goes here. That one. And this one will absolutely not need to go up there. Will this one need to go up here? No, probably not. Because these two are actually only needed for the purple science, which is right there. So not a problem. Plastic, I don't need to get that in there. And uh, let me see. So what I need is, and this is always easier from map view, just go from here. Okay, that one. Just noticing and it, how did I miss that? It's always easier, he said, and then missed, failed completely. Well, actually, I guess I have to do this because there's no other alternative. And there. So that's going to be red, yellow inbound, and I am going to get from here. That's going to be the lubricant. Oh, I don't have the lubricant. Uh, or sorry, don't have that. It's annoying. All right, let's get the iron inbound. Here comes the iron and I'm gonna just steal from all the rest of them. There you go. Okay, I already have one going from the first one. So I'm actually gonna get it from the second. That will be, no, I'm gonna get it from the third. The reason why I'm gonna get it from the third is because I know that Purple Science will want to get it from the second. So let's get that one done. And I can in the meantime make a lot of these. So I'm gonna be happy here. And that's gonna be iron. The next one is gonna be batteries and blue. Since I don't know where the blue is, I'm just gonna put batteries in. Also because blue is something, we'll work on that, we'll work on that. Batteries are coming, oh, there. And no matter what, oh, blue, I did have the blue ones. Oh, I kind of forgot that. We built that last time. Ah, of course we did. Otherwise we couldn't have built the power armor. Ugh, silly me. There, all right, this is good. And I am going to take that one. And from here, down there, and that's good. So those two are done. Inbound, the next one will be red. And red will, in this, oh, it doesn't matter which side it goes on, because it'll be fixed on side, oh. Just, oh, that's not a good place. Okay, so get it one down. Nope, I said one down, there. Why do I only have one? 
Line of red. Well, because I only have one line of red. I should have two lines. Even if I... Even if they... Yeah, even if I can't support it, then it's still just better. There. And then we have red coming in. The only thing we're missing is... The low density structures. And I actually think I could do this in a different way. Here, we know the low density structures will be built further up here. And also mute the lubricant. Once we have the lubricant, then I can build... Uh, then it'll actually start working. Here, here. And why do we not have materials in these pipes? That's not great. There. Did someone say that? Yeah, someone did say that. Like, oh, you built it one too far. Oh, he always does that. He always does that, doesn't he? There. Yes, that should then fix it, but it'll still be this one. Yeah, it'll still reach. Good. Let's see if we can <clears throat> build this, please. Wow, the flickering out here. This is working, this is working, this is working. Everything is good. We just need some lubricant, and let me just get the lubricant here. That one, and that one. There. So this will start flowing whenever the lubricant decides that it's time. Oh, I got it. I got it. So lubricant is flowing. Let's have a look and see if it actually works. So this is making engines. This is making electric engines. Electric engines are going in here to make the robot frames, which will go in here. That's going to be excellent. And I'll go over here to top this up. This looks so good. The only thing we miss is just some... Low density structures, which is actually not going to be particularly difficult to make. I'll take these out because I don't need them. Oh, hold on. Wasn't there something like... Uh, do, do, do. I'm actually going to keep these in here. Because I know someone was asking that... Oh, it's really difficult to know what's supposed to be where. So, I understand that. I'll, I'll try to keep those in here then. At least this time. Ooh, that's not great. Ah, we'll, we'll manage. It's a boring location anyway. Alright, so let's figure out, because I know exactly where... Where I want it. <clears throat> I've planned it out ahead, and it is... There. That one. Yes, I built it on the path. Oh, wait. Too many uh, undo functions here. That one. And it'll continue to this one. And then I will build it like this. So that it will only go on the top side, which is the whole point of all of this. And all I need now is low density structures. We are just going to take this out. And I'm going to take these two out as well. Maybe I can just blow this up. This is probably faster than waiting for the stupid robots. The robots should be doing other things as well. There. <clears throat> is this done? It is all but done. That is beautiful. Almost beautiful. Yeah, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. We still have like some working um, or missing. And I think what we want is just to build. Just to complete it. There and there. That's good. So with this done, now we have all of the perimeter done. We have almost all of the this done. It is time for us to do something uh, new and radical. Yeah, is it is it really time? I don't know if it's the time. I think we'll do it anyway, just so that we have some. There, upgrade. I'm going to upgrade this here. Even though all of these are default upgrades, then I don't want to upgrade the yellow inserters to blue inserters. And for that reason, I don't do this. So what I need to do or want to do is I want to upgrade this entire thing. That one and that one. And I also want to just take a normal upgrade planner and make sure that the unloading 
here and here. There you go. And I can continue research. Now, at this point, I just take random researches because I just want it done there. So with this being done, then I can also start making this part. And then, because that's going to be the one that moves the fastest, this and also check that one. Get here. And then I don't want to overdo it. And for that reason, I'm also, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to hold back on this one. Yeah, I'm going to hold back. We'll do, get this one done. Get those done. And oh, right now I just, I realized that now I won't be able to do my upgrade here. But we want to do rocket parts. We have this rocket part. This is, and I really shouldn't have, yeah, I should have half of one of these because this is pretty absurd. Absurdly big, I think. I'll take this one. But I also think I want to only do half of it. So we'll take off this one immediately. Take out a lot of this one here. And basically do this one instead. And again, I'm going to make all of this yellow because there's really no reason to not make it yellow at this point. I just want a bit. And we also have all of our reds are being consumed somewhere else because of the way I just the command I just did. So it's going to be nice to see that my, my robots are actually the ones building this. It's actually quite kind of a good idea, I think, to have my robots build this. It'll be faster than waiting for the house robots since they are going to be so far away. There, I'm going to leave all the undergrounds the way they should be here. Yeah. Let's take these out. Okay, take it out. That one. Mm, I, oops. Inbound. There. That one. This thing, I don't know what is. That's the output. This is, hmm, what is this? This is copper inbound. Yeah, we're just, if the other one consumed two or two red belts, then this one is consuming one red belt. I will not be able to, oh, this is interesting, by the way. That's uh, an error in the blueprint for sure. Not intended to have that in here, there. Right, so we are now, how did this one? Oh, right, this one is not necessary because it goes up. Yep, never mind. That is gonna be steel and plastic coming in. So I'm gonna get steel, plastic, and copper. All right, copper comes here. I'm gonna run out. Oops, there's a problem here. Not a real problem, but you know, one of these problems. Like that. Here we go. Let's spill all of that. And copper will then be... Honestly, I think I might have to do two here. Probably won't be able to support it anyway, but let's get two in here. Right, so that's copper. That's good. This one can then... Hmm. And that one. Guarantee it's also going to go up, but at least this part is here. So I will take plastic. It's coming here. Inbound. And we're out of everything, basically. There we go. We're out. Time to resupply. And we've now resupplied. Let's get back over here. I want to make sure that I find the right location. This one is going to be plastic. So plastic comes out and is it like this? 
Yeah, I think it is. Inbound. And I'm going to take all of this and just copy it here. Yeah, robots. Look at that. We have robots. They do stuff. Nice. And we're being attacked. I'm just going to flat out ignore that and just hope that it won't go won't have be something bad there and that's gonna be the steel okay where is it oh oh okay that's kind of shitty <laughs> ah that's kind of bad kind of bad uh let's see do we have we don't have oh yeah, we do have ammo all the way up here so that's that's just we can burn through this and not care all right i want to get just the first bits of this done yeah, I know it's going to happen. Right, let's see. Come on, give me the steel. Steel is coming in and it looks like it is coming. Yeah, it's coming here. Good. Steel's coming in. And I can get that. There we go. We are going to get steel. Steel becomes low density structures. Low density structure goes out of here. And the reason why I'm building like this And I was going to build that there is so that I can expand it to twice the size when I feel like it. I want to just get the first ones out. Let me see. Yeah. And they go out over on this side, go down here, go in and get all the way in and becomes yellow science in a while. In the meantime, while waiting for the yellow science to come in, then I think it would be a good idea to just take a look at and see if how many we actually have. Oh, look at that. We have 254 logistics robots and we have 1167 construction bots. Great. We are getting more construction bots. We're getting more logistics bots. That means we can also start making that one. I'm going to do that between sessions because, well, it makes sense to do between sessions. Let's have a look and see if we get when we get the next uh, the, the low density structures in. Is this sort of solved? Yeah, it kind of, I don't know, it did something. I don't know what it did, but apparently it sort of moved on with its life, this little biter. And all the way up here, up to up to and including this one, this is where we our protection is complete. And then it just needs to go all the way down and that's going to be fine. I don't think I need this, by the way. So thank you very much for taking that out. Uh, let's go back here and check. When are we getting stuff inbound? When are we getting it inbound? Otherwise, we'll just wait. Okay, I got the first little teeny tiny bits here. So we're going to wait a bit and uh, that will be this one coming in. So, And we have our very first yellow science. It's not much. It is very much not a lot, but it's uh, it's the first bit and we're still getting attacked up there. I guess someone needs to go up and take a look at that. But this is all I needed. This is all I needed to call this a success. We have started the mass update of the yellow belts, of yellow belts to red belts. We have yellow science. So this is awesome. <laughs> it's, it is, we're going to kill some of this and instead get working straight towards this one because this is the one that actually is uh, super important. Also, the next one that we want is here. So that one and that one. Those are the most important ones that we uh, we want from this uh, research. Cool. We got our green, our yellow signs and we got three more yellow signs. Awesome. And we need like, uh, what is it? 300, 300, 200. That's good. We're going to wrap this one up here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series as we progress. Also, just want to check this because I didn't show you how the power is actually doing so much better. So that's uh, here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Let me know in the comment section if you have questions, comments, that kind of thing. And I will be trying to answer as best as possible, either in the comment section or if it's something generic, then I'll answer it in the next video. Until next time. Take care, and of course, stay effective.